Uh, let's see here. So it's up here. EJPT over CEH. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, so the EJPT. So I have the EJPT. Um, and I took it, I think, two years ago. Maybe a year ago. A little over a year ago. And, you know, the thing with the EJPT is it is all practical. They have you on the exam. You do multiple choice questions. And then you, um, or you, sorry, you do practical portions. So you go do something and they give you multiple choice questions that go along with that. Um, so it kind of guides you. And again, practical certifications are really important. Uh, the CEH, <laughs> so the real benefit of the CEH right now, especially just the multiple choice portion, because that's, that's what most people associate it to because that's what it's been traditionally. Um, HR departments know what it is. It has benefit there. You know, as far as actual penetration testing, multiple choice uh, version of it uh, is, is not gonna make you a penetration tester. Let's put it that way. <laughs> um, but it might make you curious. And especially, um, I think like ITV Pro, um, I think they have a course on it. Uh, I know CBT Nuggets uh, had a course on it before. Um, I'm guessing Cyberary has a course on it. Um, you know, so you can, um, it can make you interested because you can see some of these tools and some of these things that happen. Um, it's just, it's more of a fun thing to learn about just in general. Um, but, um, and you're gonna, you're gonna get more exposure as far as the information on the CEH, just because it covers a lot more um, at a broad level and a high level. But um, the EJPT is pretty focused um, and it's it's very focused on hands on the keyboard, you know, um, do these specific things. So not so much some of the other stuff. Um, but yeah, it, it has value with HR still, uh, human resources, so getting a job. But um, if you actually wanna be a pen tester, um, you have to go beyond that. 